Hello everyone, my name is Tyson, or the Burrito Gamer, back with The Road to Platinum God, episode 2. Let's begin. New run, Isaac. On our previous run, we got up to versing Mum, but she did kill us, unfortunately. But as I said, this is only for fun and to collect all the items and complete all the challenges. I did read up on all the enemy names just before, but I have already forgotten most of them, unfortunately. But other than that, it should be a good run. Hopefully, I've got my fingers crossed. Welcome back as well, people who are joining me from just watching the previous episode. How you doing? And I hope you're having a good day. Okay, this room's almost done. Just kill this champion. Oh yeah, got a key. It's always good to get a key, means I can access my item room on the next floor. And I am also looking like, I am keeping an eye out for, I'm keeping an eye out for Tinted Rocks as well. Oh, no, no, please, no. Wow. Polythemus on the first floor. Wow. It's Mega Tears. It's like a really big damage up. Plus the tears are kind of penetrating because like they do a certain amount of damage. I don't know if you could see that but they do get smaller. Let's test out the Oh, wow. This is an amazing seed. For you guys who want to play it at home, it is B21C20DM. Sorry, there will be a little cut there. I accidentally clicked out of the game. Well, as I was saying, this will be... Uh, this seed is really good. Like, we got Polyphemus first floor, like, item room. And I was saying it's kind of penetrative, penetrative because I don't know if you can see, but... Oh, because it's not killing them. If you kill an enemy with your tier, the tier will get smaller depending on how much damage left the tier can do. Oh, kill it without a without even breaking a sweat. Let's go down to the next floor, shall we? Sorry, I skip those cut scenes if any of you want to watch it. Excuse me for one second. And I'm back. Sorry, I had the sneeze. Oh, I feel like there's another one coming. Yeah, that. I don't know if he's. Say, yeah, you can see it, and um, the tears get smaller as they go through. Oh, eventually I'll get him. I like this. I think it's hot bombs. Yeah. When you um place the bomb on the ground, it leaves a fire trail, and it burns the enemies. Oh. Be watching the flies. Oh. He should drop the battery. Go. Into the next room. I don't like these um, spider spawners. But with Polyphemus, it's like no point because they're already dead by the time like they can even realise. Oh. Both of these floors have been pretty small, but let's first the boss, I guess. Monstro, I love Monstro. Easy boss, easy win. I've only taken one heart of damage. Sorry if you can hear that in the background. Um, my dog decided to come in. He was looking at the door to come in to watch me record. He sleeps on the couch. And I let him in and now he wants out again. Oh, I'm going to bed. Sorry about this, guys. Um, I'm just going to take a small cut again. Sorry. And we're back. Sorry about that, everyone. Um, This, I'm not sure what it's called. I know it gives you the ability to fly, so let's take it. Lord of the Pits, that's right. Well, Lord of the Pit, not the Pits. 
it lets you fly, which is always a handy like item. I already I reckon this will be a one run. Like we get a really really good damage up plus the ability to fly in the first two floors. Sorry, I just have to concentrate. I don't like the spiders. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm really happy with the items we have. Plus, we're also getting a few items we haven't had yet to go towards Platinum God, which is always good. Well, I love, I love this room. This is always so annoying when you don't have, um, when you don't have the ability to fly, but now we have the ability to fly, like, I like every room. Because, see this, I can just go over here. Go over here. Oh, look at me now. <laughs> Sorry about that. Well, anyway, I got the red patch. I'm not sure what it does. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to say, oh, yeah, this does that. When I have no idea what it does. The mulligan, they grow inside. I I think... Like, here's with me thinking again. I think it just means flies randomly spawn. Yeah. While I'm shooting, I think. Or they just randomly spawn. But they're like good flies that are on our side. Oh, two pills, let's see. Range up and... Puberty. I'm pretty. I'm not sure what puberty does. If you guys want to tell me down below in the comment section, that would be appreciated. If not, I'll probably read up on it. Okay, there's our shop. I'm not going to go into the shop because I've only got four cents. What's the point? Um, I will look for a secret room here. No, not one. Um, and I'll also look for the second secret room here. Which we found, luckily. Let's see what we got. Range down, that's not good. Tears up is great. Luck down. Oh, uh, I'm not sure if that's a good or a bad thing because we could get latch key, which is the luck up. Anyway, we got two range ups. <laughs> I'm like, not glad we had that range down, but kind of don't mind because it doesn't really affect us because we had three range sharps and one range down. Yeah, I just don't like um Gertie. He's got like so much health and takes ages. Let's see if we can put a bomb there. Uh, I was hoping the fire would get some health off, but I don't. It didn't seem like it, but. Oh well, he's dead. Not, not hard at all. And old bandage health up, so we have another health slot. Here we go. Pick up a heart to fill that up. And ceremonial robes. I will take that. It's sin up. Gives you black cast. And I've unlocked Lazarus. Got three demon hearts or black hearts and three spirit hearts, which is good. I'm gonna quickly take a sip of my tea. Well, um. Let's go into the curse room and see what we have. We have flies and troll bombs. Not that bad. It could be a lot better, obviously, but I don't mind. Sorry about all the background noise. The dog's being a bit of a pain. He can't make up his mind whether or not he wants to stay in here or leave because we have I said in the last episode we have a couch in this like in the study what he likes to lay on it's a recliner that he's claimed as his own um if I remember I'll put a picture of him in this I know I said if you guys wanted to see i will do it but because obviously I don't have that many subscribers, I'm not expecting anyone to be commenting on any any of my videos anytime soon. Well, anyway, on the upside, I forgot to mention, 17 cents now, so I'll definitely give the shop a look if we find it. 
but I will go look for it, obviously, but I'm not going to um, miss out. I just thought I'd let you guys know. Oh, I didn't even see that one. I'm feeling like the shop's going to be back where that other cross was. Oh, yeah. If you guys haven't seen what the black hearts do when you lose them, it's like a Necronomicon effect. Dead Sea Scroll, haven't had this yet, is a mystery. I'm pretty sure it gives you an effect of any spacebar item or any book spacebar item. Let's see what we get. Oh, there we are. It is any spacebar item because that's the I'm firing my laser person. I forgot what it was. I'm going to donate my money, hopefully get up to 20, if it lets me, I can hopefully get up to 25 cents, I'm pretty sure you unlock something at 25, no, maybe it's 30, I was just trying to get myself jammed behind here, no, oh, I was completely wrong on both, oh well, we got to donate all the money, I'm happy about that, it's closer to the goal of 999 one day, like, it'd be great, let's see what cards, Joker, and of hearts. We'll take the Joker. If we don't get a deal with the devil on this floor, I'll pop it and then we'll see what we get. I can't wait until we start to get some of the great items that I don't want to spoil for anyone if you knew, but big red laser. I'm not going to say what it is. You guys will know if you've watched this before. It'd be great with what we've got going now. Oh, I'm not going to bother about the secret of... Yeah, the Fallen. I'm pretty sure we had him in the, in the last video. And when you kill him, he gives you a deal with the devil item. Instead of a boss room item. Bit of dumb damage there. Gimpy. I like Gimpy. Gimpy is a good item. Let's use the Joker card. Let's see what we get. Sister Maggie, I'm... Oh, we unlocked a new character. How about that? Episode 3, we'll be playing as Azazel. Oh, and I forgot to say, we also unlocked Lazarus, so... Anyway, like, next, next run we'll play with um, Azazel. I'll take that moon card down with us. Yeah, that's great. Oh, I'm so happy about that. Yeah, Sister Maggie's not the best, but... Oh, well... At least now we unlocked another character, which I didn't realise that would happen. Like, obviously, I, like, I knew it would happen because I have played this game a bit out of recordings. But I didn't realise that that was our third deal with the devil. Anywho, I am going to pop the... Um, moon card in hopes that it takes us closer to the boss room. Let's see what we have. Tears up. Yes. Love tears up. Balls of steel. That's great. And range up. I cannot complain with any of those items. Okay. I don't like these. They're, they're really irritating when you don't have a high power tier because you'll just sit there shooting it for ages and then sometimes if you have to shoot a fly or something that comes out of the white ones or is that a spider? It's a spider. It regens and it's like, oh my gosh, this is so frustrating. Robo Baby's good. He shoots, um, like, a Tech 1 laser. And, I mean, technology laser. Tech 1? Yeah, Tech 1 laser, sorry. But yeah, I, I, I don't mind him. I like him. I like having all familiars, so I don't mind them. It means my character in the game isn't lonely. <laughs> well, just dancing around that little sand. Let's see what card we get. The world. I'll just use it. Pretty pointless because our boss fight's right there, but oh well, doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter how hard we try. Keep that in mind. Well, we're going up against Monstro too. He wants his revenge because we kicked his butt before. 
I'm just gonna use the scroll, and that is the Tammy's head effect. Oh, a bit of dumb damage there. Oh, and by the big red laser, I didn't mean the technology laser. Oh, I'll just spoil it. Sorry if you are new to this game and watching for the first time, but it's what Monstro 2 shot out. Toothpicks as a tears and shot speed up, which is good. Little Brimstone, I will take you, my friend. Little Brimstone has... He's got the... See that red laser? Just pointed at my screen. <laughs> you guys can't see it. And I unlocked Eve. Wow, three characters in one video. How good's that? Anyway, let's um, keep going. Oh. Done, done. Yeah, as I was saying, I can't wait until we unlock proper brimstone. Like, it's one of my favourite items. It's one of like, I, it's I think it's overpowered. A lot of people probably think it's overpowered too because like, pretty much once you get it, it's like wow, GG. Like, you pretty much won the game once you get Brimstone. But other than that, like, I, I love it. It just looks amazing. Like, hopefully sometime we get, like, some good synergies with it. Like, there's one where it's homing. One where you can get a circle that goes all the way around you. Probably sounds crazy, but... It's true, it looks awesome, especially when you have the two combined, it becomes a purple circle like around you. And I also can't wait until we become Guppy for the first time on our series. Well, that's going to be a good milestone. Got to kill them without even breaking sweat. Oh, almost went without going to our item room, that would have been horrendous. And what's this? Spider baby, spider revenge. I'm pretty sure that's when you get hit, a spider will spawn. Like, I keep saying I'm pretty sure, but that's just, that's pretty much a nice way of me saying. I don't know what I'm saying, but this might be it. But I will get better as time goes on. I'll learn the items a bit more. And you guys will help me as well learn. Like, it'll be a learning experience for me. Probably not for you, but... Oh well. If you do learn anything, like, I'm glad that it was me who taught you. Because I know there's a lot of great Finding of Isaac players out there. Like Northern Line and Cobalt Street, just the name too. But yeah, I'm just glad some of you are watching my videos. It makes me happy. It puts a smile on my face. I put these video out for you, these videos I should say out for you, just for you guys to enjoy them. Okay, let's go into our boss fight. It's mum. Let's see if we can get our sweet revenge on her. Okay. I'll use the dead seat. Yeah, I, I don't know if you can tell, but a little bit of regret in that. Well, not the biggest amount of regret. All I have to do is reverse her. So I'm just glad I didn't wait towards the end and do it. Whew, that would have been so frustrating. Okay, let's start again. Yeah, I'm not sure if all of you know this, but once you, um, if you leave the mum fight or any boss fight, they'll get full health again. It's pretty much any room if you leave. And the enemies aren't dead, like right? if you get randomly teleported, they won't. Oh, for the dumb damage, sorry. Um, try and keep the dumb damage to a minimum. I reckon this is definitely a one though. Yeah. Rep mum. I got a deal with the devil then, but this came up instead. I would love to see what I got. Anyway, I'll be quiet. Wait, you guys watch. I love you above all else, Isaac's mother repeated to herself. This was the end of the line for Isaac. His mother was far too strong for him. But just as he accepted his fate, God intervened, sending an angel down from above to stop his mother's hand. 
And just like that, it was over. Unlock the worm. Unlock challenge 20. Unlock the horseman. Unlock Cuba mate. Awesome. Well, that was our first kill on mum. I am glad you were here to witness it with me. Thank you all for coming. Stay tuned. There should be an episode out tomorrow for you guys. Thank you. Bye.